Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better man. Ask the producer to pipe this into the Clippers locker room so I can talk to you, James. <laughs> I hope you're taking notes. I'm telling you in advance, you're welcome for the wisdom I'm about to spew. Because listen, I get on my knees every night and pray for someone to believe in me like Daryl Borey believed in you. You wanted a certain coach, they brought in Mike D'Antoni. You want to play a certain style, they played it. You wanted Dwight Howard, they brought him in and got rid of him when you were tired of him. You wanted Chris Paul, they brought him in and got rid of him when you were tired of him. They brought in your old friend Russell Westbrook. You wanted to go to Vegas on off days, they looked away. You wanted the team to stay over so you could go out at night, they changed the schedule and it didn't work. And you know what, you said, I'm going to break up with my Whoopi. Not good enough. I see the bright lights in New York. I want to go there. My old pal, Kevin Durant. It's going to work. The big three. And all after one year, you want it out. You realize, oh my gosh, I took this guy for granted. The guy that believed in me. I went back with Daryl Morey. They traded Ben Simmons for you. How did they pull that off? And you know what? You went there and you got a partner who got the MVP. He won the MVP. And what did you say afterwards? You said, they didn't hand me the reins. You're the point guard. You're holding the reins. And what did you do when you had the reins? You scored nine points in game seven against Boston. You blew a 3-2 series lead. So they co they fired their coach. Not good enough. You broke up with the guy believing you again. You said, the bright lights of L.A., that's where I want to go. Let's see if that works. Listen, James, have you ever had those friends who had bad roommates? Over and over, they complained about their bad roommates. This guy's terrible. The bad roommate here. They never thought to be self-aware enough that they're the bad roommate. They're the problem. Hey, James, you're the problem. <laughs> if this doesn't work this year in this system with this team, then you're going to go and point fingers at everybody else, and you're going to go back home, and you're going to start swiping right for another team, and there's not going to be anybody left. Because, James, you're not the beard. You're not the system. You're the problem. Y'all just seen that video, right? The Dallas Mavericks announcer just basically ethered and ended James Harden's career. But you know what? I'm going to leave James Harden alone. It's only the third third game of him, of him on the Clippers. But I'm going to talk about the LA Clippers in this video. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back and get with another video. <sighs> this is my thing with, it, with the Los Angeles Clippers. Why did y'all get James Harden? Why did y'all think y'all need to get James Harden? Is it because y'all was afraid that Kawhi and Paul George were going to get injured again? So y'all needed a backup to, to, you know, withstand their absence? Since they've been injured so many times over the last couple of years, since they've been together as a duel, or is it is it that y'all need a, some extra scoring and some extra playmaking on the team? Y'all already got Westbrook. What? Why did y'all really need to get James Harden? The team was already pretty solid, pretty nice. Starting this season especially, y'all look like y'all was all clicking. Russell Westbrook was having fun out there. Bones Highland was having a, a blast, getting buckets left and right. Kawhi was doing his thing mid-range game. Paul George was absolutely hooping, averaging on over 26 points per game before y'all got James Harden. Since y'all got James Harden, Paul George has not even scored over 15, over 20 points since y'all got James Harden. Listen, man, my problem right, right now is the problem right now is not with James Harden. It's with the team. It's with the LA Clippers. Because at this point, y'all can't be, y'all cannot be this desperate. And that's what y'all look like. Y'all are the most desperate franchise in the NBA. Because y'all want to get all these stars and line them and think this is going to all automatically work. When you know damn well this is not gonna work james harden is ball dominant russell westbrook is ball dominant Kawhi can play off ball but he's mostly ball dominant because he needs the ball to play his mid-range game 
Paul George is another one. He's just like Kawhi. There's too many personalities. Y'all acquiring James Harden is making y'all more stagnant on offense. Y'all don't know who's going to get the ball. Y'all don't know who's going to score. Y'all don't know who's going to facilitate. Who's going to bring the ball up court. Before this, it was Russell Westbrook bringing the ball up court. Paul George in the corner. Kawhi right there in the center. In the, like a triangle offense. Zubats getting the rebounds. And then Bones coming off the bench giving great minutes. And was actually running gun. Y'all was actually running gunning. Now... It's a bunch of standing around since y'all got James Harden. And this is what I was afraid of. It's a bunch of standing around James Harden, you know, doing doing the the dribble step back that he always does. That, yeah, it's effective in the first half. It's effective in the first couple minutes. It's never it's never gonna be effective in the playoff game, in the playoffs. It's never gonna be effective in, when you, when it counts the most. So y'all gonna keep these four players in the starting lineup? Clippers. Y'all got to figure something out. Because I believe y'all have hit rock bottom now. Acquiring James Harden. Y'all stuck. Y'all stuck. This was like a desperation move. Because you was... Speaking of, you know, their owner. You was worried that Kawhi and Paul George, one of them was going to get injured. So y'all just got James Harden. And he's still a bucket. But you see that Philly's playing better. And since y'all got him, he y'all have been playing worse. Not only y'all terrible offense, silly, y'all are even worse defensively. And you have one of the top five best defensive three and D guys in the game on your team. Two of them. Kawhi and Paul George. But since we got so many personalities, since we got so many, so other <sighs> distraction at this point, they are all confused. Everybody is on the team is confused and worried. I guarantee you, just because Russ and Harden are boys, just because Harden is cool with the owner, just because Harden's cool with Kawhi and PG, doesn't mean y'all got to team up together and it's going to work out. It's not. Park Harden, can you get that through your mind, dude? You play with KD. You play with Kyrie. You play with Westbrook three times. You wanted to go, to, you, you, you was about to go to the Lakers. You played with Dwight Howard. You played with Clint Capella. You played with CP3. How many championships? Zero. Don't you think it, the problem will be you, James Harden? And it's sad because the Clippers don't, don't realize that. And like, like I said earlier in the video, I'm not going to put all this James Harden. I'm not going to put all of this on James Harden. I'm talking more about the, the, the loss. No pun intended. Lost. Angeles Clippers franchise. Y'all got all these moves. Y'all made all these sacrifices. Giving up all a million picks. Just to get Kawhi PG. Just to move CP3 Blake Griffin. And Jamal, Jamal Crawford. And JJ Redick. And DeAndre Ayton. Did all of this. How many championships do y'all have? And y'all whole franchise history? Zero. Clippers. Y'all better figure it out. This is sad. Y'all have literally hit rock bottom. I'm not even talking about spon the SpongeBob game. I this is this is only three games in. Is it already too early to say if this this is gonna work? Hell no. Who in their right mind think this is gonna work? Every time Luka goes against you, he drops 40. Name me one game Luka has to drop 40 against y'all. Since y'all paired together. And I'm talking Kawhi PG. 
alone. Clippers, this is pathetic. Y'all better figure something out. Because it looked like y'all was about to be having a good season with just having Russ, Kawhi, PG, Bones Holland, two bots, and kept keep the role plays, Nicholas Batum and Robert Covington. But now, y'all acquired James Harden, who just, you can tell, he thinks he wants to win, but this is not the way to win. His play style would never win anything. Get it together, Clippers. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all like this video, give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop in every week. I appreciate tuning in for this video. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.